Hey guys, Captain Mike, Whiskey and Literature coming at you today with the whiskey. Short video here going over the six whiskeys that I'm drinking in March 2023. I'm drinking these whiskeys for a different reason than I'm drinking these whiskeys. Kind of all the same reason, but I'm drinking these ones specifically for a different reason. Let's go through these three whiskeys here real quick about why I'm drinking these ones specifically. And they're all kind of similar, right? We have Eagle Rare, Buffalo Trace, and the Weller Special Reserve Green Label. They're all kind of in the same family, pretty similar whiskeys that we have a weeded bourbon. I'm drinking these whiskeys because I have too many bottles. It's a common theme for me. I have a relatively small house, limited space. These bottles were kind of unavailable, and then I started seeing them here and there, so I picked them up, and next thing I knew, I had five bottles of Buffalo Trace, three Weller Special Reserves, and three Eagle Rares. And in my house, well, I don't know how you feel about the Weller Special Reserve, but I'm never sad to drink it, but I think I only need one bottle of Weller Special Reserve in my house instead of three. So I just finished one, now I have uh, one more to drink, and I'll always keep one bottle, but that's all I need of the Weller Special Reserve. Buffalo Trace, I think you gotta have two. I had five. I'm down to three right now. I'm gonna blast it with this bottle, keep myself with two bottles of Buffalo Trace. I think that's the appropriate amount. Eagle Rare, I couldn't find it. I was out one day in Sarasota. I paid $160 for this bottle of Eagle Rare. I found another bottle a few weeks later, $80, picked that up, and now I'm seeing it on the shelf pretty regularly for about $59. So I have three bottles. I'm gonna drink this bottle here, all gone and I'll always keep myself two bottles of Eagle Rare in the house. But So that's kind of why I'm focusing on these three bottles here. Solid bourbons, I'll be happy to drink them anytime, but I just have too many of these. These whiskeys here are a different reason. I don't have too many bottles. I have one bottle each of these whiskeys, and we'll go through them really quickly. So I'm drinking these because I like them. I like most of the whiskeys I have in my house, but these ones I'm trying out and I am enjoying them, so I'm drinking these on a more regular basis. So the Woodford Reserve Double Oaked. This has been a revelation to me. Again, I gave a bottle of this to a friend of mine. He turned 50, and we opened that bottle at his house and shared it, and I was like, wow, I love this whiskey. And I have a bottle at my house, and I've never opened it, so I'm slowly drinking that, and I'm really enjoying this Woodford Reserve Double Oaked. It is, I, I think it's a great whiskey and I've never had a double oak before, so maybe this is representative of all the double oak out, out there, and maybe it's not even a very good one. So I'm excited as I create some space on my shelf here to maybe look for some other uh, double oaks from other distilleries. So if you have a favorite double oak, let me know. Maybe I'll take a look at that and add it to my collection once I get rid of a few other bottles here. So I'm a big fan of Irish whiskey. Middleton's been a favorite of mine. One of the first bottles of whiskeys that I bought was a Middleton, very rare, the 2019. And I bought that one, the 2021 and 2022. And this is the Method of Madness. It's a product from Middleton. And this one is their single malt Irish whiskey matured in bourbon barrels. And I might prefer the other Method of Madness a little more than this one. This was in a single pot still, sherry and bourbon barrels. I might actually prefer this one, and obviously I've drank more out of this bottle, though I've had it longer. But this month, I'm drinking, drinking this one. And it's a good whiskey. I like it, I like it a lot. Looking forward to getting more into that bottle. The Suntory, this one's kind of a different one for me. This is my second bottle of the Toki, and I have the Hibiki as well. And the first bottle of Toki that I had, I was like, ah, I don't think I really, I'm not enjoying this bottle. Finished it, I wasn't gonna go back to it, and I decided, obviously, to get another bottle, and I'm actually kind of enjoying it this time. So, I'm about halfway through, almost halfway through the bottle, and I do enjoy a pour of the Suntory Toki at this time. Again, I bought the Hibiki as well, I haven't opened that one yet. This one has been very interesting to me. I think as my palate has changed, as I drank more whiskeys, I do enjoy more and more stuff like the Arbeg Ugadal, these high peat, high smoke Isla, and other scotches. I'm just, I'm trying to enjoy them. 
and it's just a new flavor and new taste that I have never tasted before. So I feel like the Toki was in that realm, just like when I, August 2018, I had my first coffee ever, 46 years old. How about you? It was awful. It was so bad. I couldn't believe people drink coffee on a regular basis. And now I drink coffee every day. I think as we experience things that we don't have any, any recognition for in our mind and in our taste buds, our taste does change and mature and develop. And I feel like this Suntory Toki is one of those things for me. So guys, that's my quick video today. The six whiskeys that I'm drinking in March 2023. Weller Special Reserve, Buffalo Trace, Eagle Rare, Suntory Toki, Method and Madness. This is their uh, single malt. And of course, the Woodford Reserve Double Oat. My friends, I hope you are reading something good and drinking something good. Turn those pages and stay thirsty. Cheers.